Okay, what's up? How are you guys doing today? John, MSSM 420, let's go. Yutanak, Fred Alferro, what's up? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back, welcome back. Okay, we're gonna test that uh, skill team. Is it enough? Three people? Or do we need more than three people? That's the real question. <clears throat> Little Lazy, what's up? Little Falker, what's up? Daniel, welcome back, guys. Waiting for CC rewards to get three diamond apocalypse. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Thankfully, you got the rewards from the last month event. Did you guys pull some nice diamonds or not really? I pulled the three diamond strange. So I got top 2000. Top 2000 gave me the champion orb. Champion on gave me three diamonds on this mofo. Even that is kind of useless. And then the other diamond was on uh, Omega Red or something. So it was a dupe diamond. JD, welcome back. How are you doing today? More than three people, you think? So I tried with two people and it was fine. Two people, it was fine. But this, this uh, Peter B. Parker... Is going to be one of the more important ones. So we'll see. Maybe it's going to be enough. I tried with Nick Fury, Black Cat. With Spider-Man Noir and uh, Ghost Spider. And they did half of the node. The, they did half of the first node. So if this guy can help doing the full node. That would be amazing. What are these guys like in water? Beatable? Yes, yes. We should be able to beat this one. Unless you guys fuck up like uh, last time. Yikes. <laughs> Ram, welcome back. I got Robert in that event. 12k position. Wow, wow, wow. So you missed nothing, 12k position. The problem is that a lot of people get the same score, right? You have like 10,000 people with the same score and I think that's the problem. You heard about the Silver Surfer casting? Not yet. 
Ram, welcome back. Greetings, fools. Welcome back. Nightcrawler, welcome back. Cotton Mouth, first. Jordan Gold, what's up? Welcome back. Do you think Professor Xavier will give synergies to X-Men? So, I mean, according to developers, yes. But Professor X is, is supposed to be like Apocalypse. He has synergies with uh, X-Men, but also he's going to buff up all mutants or, uh, or all characters. Like Apocalypse gives health and damage to everyone. So maybe Professor X will also do that kind of stuff for everyone. Not just for mutants. You think Scopely will put skill? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. The next raid, for sure, they will have skill at the start of the raid. Because they want you to force you to, to get up that team. You might not have to get up them up now, but you'll have to get up after. Who's attacking these different rooms? Oh, quick draw. Why are you attacking the different rooms? Okay, so we are having a slow water. That's fine. We're going to do a few attacks in a second. But we have to unlock the Spider-Man as fast as possible because we only have like 20 minutes to test him out. So I apologize, this first part of unlocking the characters is going to be a little bit rushed. And uh, then you're going to focus on the other things, right? So as fast as, as, fa as fast as possible, I'm going to get up the Spider-Man, get him up, go into the raids, because we have uh, the opportunity to test him out right away. And like I was saying, at least with two characters, I was almost able to one-shot the first node. And I want to see how much can we do just with the three-piece. Surai Patel, welcome back. Connor Sherman, welcome back. I got three diamonds on Kestrel and Iron Fist World War II. Oh, yikes. Kestrel is great, but World War II, that's a big yikes. Yeah, the new character should be today, yeah. I made sure I double check it to see if it was the case or not. So yes, it should be today. Anything that this Spider-Man can help would be great. So the main thing about him is the passive. His passive is very, very strong because he gives like dead proofs and uh, dead proof defense sub deflect and regeneration early on. And that's very important. Ranked 126. Oh man, that's very good. That's very good. So we had two orbs. I only had one orb. I had rank 1,800 and something. So I barely, I barely got it. Do you think Nick Fury should? Uh... No, no. Very unlikely. Very unlikely. He's so expensive. Maybe next year you can reinvest on Nick Fury. But even right now in Cosmic Crucible and uh, an Alliance Wars, we are not really using him anywhere. One night in Paris, welcome back. Shum Show, welcome back. Looking forward to this character. Yeah, I think this is going to be one of the, the more important ones. Or at least, I mean, they put so much work with the kid and so on, with the animations. It should be definitely an impactful character. Okay, so we have 10 minutes to go. We still cannot uh, set up our rooms in Cosmic Crucible. Are you guys happy with the, with the break of, on Cosmic Crucible or not really? Or you guys would prefer to have like Tournament 32 or something? The web milestone you can complete with just 200 quarters of X energy. Yes, yes, that's what I did. I spent the 200 quarters on the first day, but not on the second day. It was not supposed to be like that, but since Scopely made it a lot easier, that's great for us. Not happy with the break. There's been nothing to do. I feel the same. I, I've been blitzing a lot. The game is so dry that I've been blitzing just for, uh, for testing teams and, and characters and so on. Super boring without CC. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it has been a struggle. I still didn't make the, the teams. I've been focusing on the Dark Dimension teams. I'm not very far away from starting. I'm going to start with Val. This is going to be a little bit strange. So this is going to be my first team, my second team, my third team. 
fourth, and then the fifth team. This is going to be the order I'm going to build. So full city plus Vale, then uh, city and global, then cosmic and global, and then legendary plus mythic, and then mythic plus legendary. Like this, you have the uniques, for example, far apart. Vale uses Osmium, Nightcrawl also uses Osmium. You need to make sure that you have uh, one lane in between, so you have time to gear them up. We are Kevin, welcome back. Where are our CC rewards? I have no idea, maybe today. RTA is the way to go. I'm still waiting for the, the RTA leaderboard. I enjoy CC would have uh, like, a, the, yes, yes, yes. I wish we had a, a tournament 32. It seems that those are the only ones I can <laughs> I can win. VHS Rogue, welcome back. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I hope we get the CC rewards today. We got yesterday the monthly items or the monthly rewards. I hope we can get the, the CC rewards today. Another thing about not having Cosmic Crucible is that it's a full week of training materials and diamonds that you don't get, right? Remove it one game mode that used to be three times a week and suddenly no content. Yeah, unfortunately Marvel Strike Force right now has too much weight on, uh, on Cosmic Crucible. Alliance Wars is okay, but not everyone enjoys Alliance Wars. I enjoy Cosmic Crucible, but I also enjoy Alliance Wars to a lesser degree. But a lot of people don't enjoy Alliance Wars or because they don't have like big enough teams for offense. Or, uh, or it's just a 24 hour timer or something. RTS Trash Rewards. I don't think it has any rewards. So we're getting the Spider Society, then the Marks for Money, and then Alpha Flight. I, um, I'm not sure about Alpha Flight. I think Alpha Flight will be one month after. So yes, Spider Society now, throughout April. Throughout April, yes, and then uh, marks for money throughout May. And then, uh, yeah, we might get Alpha Flight in June, right? Because there is one LGBT character. So you might have Alpha Flight uh, in June. And they are Canadians, right? Canadians, LGBT, like Trudeau is a big supporter of LGBT causes. So it's very likely that you'll get Alpha Flight in, in June. Half of like could be the Mystic Ray team, for all we know. Yeah, that's true, that's true. It could be the next uh, Mystic Ray team. Diamonds, I don't get uh, when... Yeah, Little Lace, you, have, you need to get better at CC. You need to get better at CC. RTA just for fun, uh, share map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, like, I like the live PvP match. I, I just really wish it had... Uh, a leaderboard or something to fight for. Why better build doesn't uh, show Mephisto? Isn't he good uh, in arena offense? I mean, it is, but... Um, so, better ability doesn't have a YouTube channel or a, a streaming channel or anything like that. So, if anyone is going to show, it's probably going to be Mobile Gamer or Taco Shooter or something like that. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it's more likely Fergus to, to show his is Mephisto soon. And there was also the, the Mephistos from the test server. So I don't know. Does anyone really want to see Mephisto in action? We already saw that from the test server. This is why I don't like the test server. If, uh, if you are showing to everyone the new characters on the test server, then when they come to the live game, it's kind of meh. Okay, I already saw this before. Like, it's nothing new. If it was on my hand, that's a different story. That I, I decide how to play it. But to see other person playing with it uh, from the test server, I don't know. For me, it just um, kills the mood about it. Hunter down, hunker down, web milestones, reset in a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm done with them. Sir Naughty, welcome back. Master Gilgamesh. Skevin, Skiv, Skiv, welcome back. No one in Canada likes Trudeau. You guys don't like him, but you keep voting for him. In War 2, it takes off, it takes the whole alliance. 
Yeah, that's also true. That's also true. Your alliance can delay your... Uh, your like... Uh, how do you say it? You're a hype train, right? You have that hype train to go for war. And then your alliance doesn't attack anyone. So yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. You guys are crazy. They spoil the next uh, Mystic Ray team with vampires. Uh, that's true, Yutanak. Yeah, that's true. That would make sense. The new skill... The new Mystic Ray team to be the vampires, yeah. Who am I taking? So this is the characters I'm taking for that mission. That's it. These are the characters. Are you Loki racing Dorky Dead to Dark Dimension 7? Does he have unfair advantage? Yes, yeah. Dorky Dead has massive unfair advantage because he knows everything that is coming. He already mentioned that some cosmic characters are coming soon that might be Dark Dimension 7 viable. But I'm not racing him. Like, he never has a chance. He never had a chance. Uh, maybe in what? In Dark Dimension 3 he had a chance? Dark Dimension 4, maybe? He doesn't have a chance now. BW Corvus. So the only I don't have at four red stars is a minion. Should I keep opening red star orbs to convert him? Yes, yes. You should open all your fours to convert to fives, then convert to fives to sixes, the six to sevens, and so on. And then the sevens to diamonds. More spiders as a mystic team. I mean, we already have so many mystic spiders, so it wouldn't be a surprise. Who's replacing Val in City? He is a Ghost Rider. I just do like this for the spacing. So you have one character with Miosmo on top, on top. And then you need a, a lane in between so you have time to farm again. And then you can get another character with Miosmo again. And then another lane on, on the middle. And then another Miosmo character with uh, Morgan Lafay, right? We might replace Morgan Lafay. We might replace Rogue. We might replace... Red Hulk, it really depends on how you get these, these new legendary characters in the near future. But yeah, that's going to be the team, uh, the, the characters I'm taking based on what we have now. Based on what we have now. My two small changes. No, I've been opening, uh, I've been opening all my orbs. I open all my orbs. So the mutant, we can equip one piece. And she requires two pieces. Uh, the problem for uh, Firestar is, has been the, the centerpiece uniques. It seems like Ballistic Weave does not drop. For Val, we are almost halfway done. And in terms of the, the pieces, we are actually we actually have all of them. So we could go with Val already if we had this one. Other problem that you have is the basic gear. The basic gear is it has been a struggle to get. But as soon as I have the, the mini uniques and the uniques, I just start buying the the basic gear. Vulture, I think he's almost done as well. One has been 24, the other one is 14. The centerpiece uh, is already on its way. Eight, 11 out of 18, so 7 more. Lizard already has 12 out of 18, so he's almost ready as well. The biggest problem is the mini uniques. So some characters still struggling with the mini uniques, but we have the zombie juggernaut event coming up soon. So that might give us some bio gear to, to gear up these characters. Yellow Gorilla, welcome back. This game should be Marvel. <laughs> yes, Marvel Spider Force. Are you sure about Star Lord for Cosmic? No, no. I'm not sure about Star Lord. It's a. Or Star Lord or Valkyrie or uh, something cheap. Skill, maybe. I might even change that. Scope remover the yes, yeah. Yeah, I have been struggling with that. Like I have so many orbs to open. And uh, and I can't. Okay, it seems like we have the new character. And they also changed the banner. Okay, let's see if you can get this guy right away. Oh no, he's not available yet. They changed the premium more, but not these ones. RT Club moderator. No, no. I, I don't need mods. I appreciate, but no. Okay, here we go. Let's see if you can open him right away. I think I only have sevens, right? Yeah, I only have sevens. Okay, here we go. Three to one. The faster, the better. Iron Man, no. 
Come on, don't make me take too longer because we need to to rush this. We need to rush B. Rescue. Three options. This guy, okay, no. Skip. Tigre, wow, it's gonna take a while. Vision, I might have to reset the game. Maybe the orb is not working properly. Agatha. Okay, one more and we'll reset. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we got the guy. Cool. So we got the guy. A little bit... Um, how do you call it? Family Affair Orb. Okay, that's a strange name. Anyway, okay, so we have to unlock the character. Like I said, we have to do this as fast as possible. Because we only have... Uh, 30 minutes to test out this team uh, in the raids. So here we go. Let's open the store. There is a bot uh, invasion posting NSF. Yeah, it seems like some some trolls or something are doing some funny stuff on my Discord nowadays. Okay, I, I don't see the new offers. Let's see. Let's refresh again. Spider-Man, where are you at? Okay, there it is. So we're gonna get the cheap one because we cannot afford these. So we have here, let's see what else we have here. T4s. 140 gold orbs. Wow, that's crazy. 3 million gold, okay. 1.5 some interesting offers okay we'll take a look at these offers later let's just grab these let's just grab the character you're going to spend ultra cores yes okay there we go transaction successful and we're gonna move on the goal to buy the unique is a problem yeah absolutely this team sucks even with all the members. Sometimes it depends on the, the ISO 8 setup that people are using and the position of the characters, many things. The, the envoys are all promoting using Raider on all the characters. I think I'm gonna use Skirmisher on most of the characters. Usually when they put crit chance on the, on the kits, it's just to bait you to waste your ISO 8. But that's what I'm gonna do. Other people do whatever they want. I'm going to use mostly skirmishers on my characters. Especially on, uh, on Ghost Spider. Okay, here we go. Unlock Peter B. Parker. We're going to get up this guy as fast as possible. Cool, cool. He looks, he looks a little much like art guy. He's almost uh, dying or something. Okay, there we go. Take a photo. I know Ghost Spider was bugged. They, they did a minor change to her kit. Now her abilities cannot be blocked anymore. I'm not sure if that's enough. But yeah, okay, so yeah, yikes. 16 million gold right away. 95, I guess that's gonna be the bare minimum. Gear tier 18. Oh, I barely have gear for him. I forgot about this. I'm gonna take this guy to 18 or should I take to 17 first? We're going to take to 17 first. And then we'll see. But we have enough for 18. Okay, now the game lags like hell. Okay. Dead rewards on the test drive. Okay, we need to get eyes of blue on this guy. I'm going to give him Skirmisher. I'm not sure which Iso 8 he should have. If it's healer or if it's something else. I know he's a healer. But I don't remember his kit. These kits are getting so big that it's getting quite crazy. Okay, let's gonna, let's wait. Okay, so he gives regen. He gives offense down. Offense down is good. Offense down for two turns. Apply a to Spire Society. T4s, apply to regeneration, apply two evades to the most injured spider society. Okay, I'm gonna skip that for now. 
I hope I don't have to spam basics. That would be lame AF. Okay, so attack primary target and just send targets. Offense down for two turns. Clear positive effects. Great. Call hero spawner versus ally with the speed bar. Heal the most injured. So this is a new mechanic. Oof, but that's a very weak T4. Just that. More damage and call spider versus ally it with the least speed to attack the most injured character. No, that's kind of garbage. I mean, it might be necessary, but that's kind of a lame ability. This one, uh, I'm not sure if it will spawn with full energy or not. It should. Apply Disrupt. Apply Offense Down for two turns. Clear negative effects. Defense up, Regeneration. Okay. And the T4 is going to be... Apply Disrupt for two turns. Apply Immunity to Self. Immunity out of uh, zero. Okay, so I'm going to apply this T4. This rub for two turns and immunity for uh, one turn is nice. Assist chance, okay. On spawn, that proves deflects, okay. And the last one, on spawn in raids, apply safeguard to all spider versus society, okay. This character has three or more spider society allies. These characters cannot gain defense down. Okay, so we cannot use this one. So if you're going to use it, it's just for the safeguard. So I'm going to skip this one for now. So I'm going to go with the skirmisher to make sure he applies all those disrupts and uh, offense down. Okay, let's see. Brazer, welcome back. Fast grab. It will be interesting to see how much is required to get Incursion 2. Yeah, that's why I want to, to try Mad Gear T17 first. 3 yellow, 3 red. Might be a problem. And we have to take him all the way to level 4. So let's do that. How much time we have? 23 minutes. Okay. That's good enough, I hope. Okay. And here we go. Okay. So, yeah, this team definitely has some problems with the uh, focus. And that's why I'm going to go skirmisher on most of them. Most of them. Not exactly sure which. So the tech girl, the... The taker will for sure be a striker. Okay, so once again, call Hero Spider Versa with the least speed bar. So that can be the Ghost Spider because we only have three. So maybe it will apply the blinds. If it is the other girl, it will apply the energy. So, okay, we're going to do this T4 as well. And this one apply two evades. Two evades is not bad, but how many times are we going to use the, the basic? It seems like we're going to use it quite a lot. Okay, we're going to leave it like this. Let's go. It's time for the raids. Let's see if this guy can do anything. Penny needs to be a skirmisher. Uh, yeah, I mean, but she's the one that also gives energy, so... It's going to be a problem to balance the... The energy and the... the and the focus. Because the problem with it, so the team gets a lot of energy at the start of the match. But in the middle of the match, this team gets very low energy. Very, very low energy. And that's important. The, the cooldowns are way too long. Okay, 20 minutes. Here we go. Let's see if I have the team still saved that I used the last time. So it was Black Cat. Oh, I used Black Knight. I use the Black Knight. So who am I going to use instead? Should I use Nick Fury? Or should I still use Black Knight? I guess we're going to try with both, right? So maybe have a Black Cat next to that guy. Yeah, and this guy has more evades. Okay, let's see. Dallas sign, welcome back. We are testing out the, the new character in raids. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Three stars, Peter B. Parker, Guilty 17, level 95. Let's see what they're going to be able to do. So lots of evades right away. That's good. So let's use these. Ability block, we are going to apply this ability block on... Um, I think it has to be on this girl. Okay, remove those evades. Here comes the B Parker. What is this? Offense down. 
Clear Hill Blocker. I guess... Uh, okay, let's target the, the Thor. Wow, everything got resisted. That's great. I love that. And you got the assist and the evades. Okay, so Black Hat, now she should do some um, retaliations. I'm going to stun the Archangel. Maybe I should stun the, the other guy instead. Okay, we still have Safeguard and Death Proof. That will keep us alive for a, a bit. Especially this guy, big damage. Okay. Okay, so far so good. But maybe I should have stunned that Thor. Okay, big special with Black Knight. Here comes the Thor. The counter attacks do not stop him, which is a problem. We apply slow to him. Valkyrie with her ability, she's dead. Let's go after that girl over there. Black Knight died, unfortunately. We are still stuck behind that taunt. The, the problem is this, this taunt, man. How many characters do we need as a skirmisher to remove these taunts constantly? Okay, I still need to delete the Thor. I still need to delete the Archangel. It's getting rough out there. We are getting plenty of evades. But it seems like the Ghost Spider, she just takes way too long to take turns. 15-18. He didn't land offense downs, he didn't land anything. It's, like, it's what I was saying, like the focus on this team is garbage. And if, you're gonna th if you think that you're going to take this team as Raiders, it's not going to work. They just don't have enough focus. Okay, so there you go, gear tier 18. Let's see if now you have enough focus to do anything. It's still not a lot. 26,000 is still very low focus. Society cannot gain defense down. Safeguard. Okay, we can try the Nick Fury instead of the Black Knight. No, oh, sorry. Press the, the wrong place. Let's see. We're gonna try again, this time with Nick Fury. If we stun the um, Archangel, we can have the minions around to protect us. Black Knight is fine, but um, not great. Okay, second try. Let's see if you can finally land those negative effects. And uh, so Nick Fury. Let's put Nick Fury next to Ghost Spider. So she can, uh, or so he can give her energy. Skirmisher, Skirmisher, this guy, Noir. So Striker gives him evades. I'm really wondering how many Skirmishers do we need. Let's go full Skirmisher. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Once again, in my opinion, it's like they almost work, they almost work, but the team just feels a little bit slow. So if I can summon the minions... Okay, we're gonna apply the Disrupt. Great. Now we have this ability blocker, which I still think it's better to apply to the Lady Thor. I could also try to apply to the... Okay, let's try to that guy instead. Okay, so they have the slow... That's fine. We still have to stop the, the Mighty Thor. Now we're going to summon the minions to get speed up for two turns. And now we have to stun that uh, Archangel. So let's apply vulnerability to Archangel. Black Hat is going to turn you wind him. And stun. Oh, ooh, wow. That was a big turn you wind. What? The Spider-Man on the basic turn you winds Archangel? That was really massive. Okay, here we go. Stun on Archangel, massive turning winder. We have one blind over there. Let's see if you can spread that blind. Okay, remove the taunt. Great. Let's apply vulnerability to the Gwen pool so we can uh, remove our taunt faster. Oh, but Nick Fury, he lost all the buffs. He already lost all the buffs. Oh my god, that's garbage. Why did he lost all the buffs? I really don't get it now. 
Okay, we have one chance of spreading that blinder, please. Can we do it? No, we cannot. So we have to blind the other went pool, I guess. Oh no, we have to blind this girl. Okay, we got a blinder. Great. How did Nick Fury got destroyed right away? That was so lame. Okay, remove that offense up. Okay, we have those dead proofs on Black Cat. The team is just so slow. It's dreadful. It's so dreadful how slow the team is. Man, that's that's really garbage. That that is so garbage, man. The, the team is so slow. Okay, one last chance. We're gonna use uh, Nick Fury special now to get some speed up, I guess. What can we do here to speed up the team? Captain Sam. The problem is that Captain Sam dies right away. Okay, I guess we're gonna try with the uh, Nick Fury special instead. You do better with invaders. You probably need the whole team. Yeah, I, I mean, of course we need the whole team, right? We need the whole team, but the, the team... Uh, they are not doing anything. It's not like, uh, oh, maybe they do something. No, they, they literally don't do anything. Okay, so ability block on this guy. I like it. I think that's fine. Why is Nick Fury so slow? Okay, so let's get that proofs and speed up for everyone. Attack the Archangel once again. This time he didn't got turn winded. So I wonder why he got turn winded so much last time. Oh, it was the minions assist. Okay, yeah. The minions assist uh, rewinded everyone. Okay, special with uh, this guy. We just need to have the second turn with the uh, Ghost Spider. Nick Fury died right away. Of course he did. Of course you are still stuck behind all these towns. No chance to apply the blind this time. Let's turn and wind that girl over there. Man, we cannot remove these towns. It's dumb. It's dumb that we cannot remove these towns. Even with the three or four skirmishers, three skirmishers, we still cannot remove those towns. Really incredible. And Spider-Man dies, and now we can spread, but I mean, we are spreading slow. And bleed, okay, I, thanks, I guess. Oh, this team is so garbage, man. Okay, there we go. That that was the, the early testing for uh, for this team. They are shit. So, in conclusion, do not buy Spider-Man. He's pointless. Just wait for his free-to-play release and buy the last character if you care about it. That was so trash. Ghost Spider the biggest? I'm not sure about that. I think Spider-Man Noir does the, the most damage. Christoph, welcome back. Red Skull Elider, welcome back. Wow, that was very disappointing. The team is just dreadfully slow. They cannot get anywhere. They don't have any slow that you can... I mean, you have that early slow. But you don't get enough speed bar for them to, to get anywhere. <laughs> Oof. That was really garbage. And if you use Captain Sam, Captain Sam dies right away, so unfortunately it doesn't work. So or you have to get up more Captain Sam or uh, or it's pointless. Dead proof, deflects, regeneration. Nope. You, you need the, the Spider-Man India to give speed up for them. And I'm not even sure. I'm not... Ugh, man, this team is looking very bad. This team is looking very bad. It, it didn't look good when... Uh, so when the Envoys did their videos, the team was gigantic. They were, they were using characters at level 100, which is unfair, like, 
if the team needs to be at level 100, then they are not doing anything. It's it's like rebirth before the rework. It's rebirth before the rework. And based on what we see from these their kits, the team is just too slow. Feel the speed bar. On the end of the turn, feel the speed bar for self-announced by diverse characters. But it's at the end of the turn, so they already got the rework. So Scopely thought the only rework they needed. Scopely thought the, the only rework they needed is her abilities being unblockable. That's the only rework they did. Is make her abilities un unblockable. I don't know. This this doesn't make any sense. The team is absolute trash. If, if Spider-Man Noir, if Spider-Man Noir would give the speed bar he gets per turn, like this one, this one down here, if this if he would give the speed bar for the allies in raids, that would make sense. But the team just feels so slow. So I mean. We have the test drive available, right? Okay, let's take a look at the test drive. Let's take a look at the test drive. Okay, here we go. Spider Society, yikes. It doesn't feel good so far. All Spider Ray teams suck on release, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was the same problem with Web Warriors. They're always kind of garbage. Okay, so this is the team that supposedly we are facing. So, once again, you're going to do the ultimate. They do have speed up on spawn. But then, do they have utilities to keep that speed up? Rebound chain to slow, okay. Apply speed up to mark to self and all hero characters. Okay, so that's it. Without Pavir or Pavit. Without Pavit, this team does not work. You need him for the speed. We need him for the speed, otherwise the team does not work. Here we can do ability block. Why they have safeguard? Oh, okay, so the girl... Okay, fine. So let's ability block that one. Okay, cool. This one is going to apply the disrupt, right? Apply defense up, apply immunity, apply disrupt. This ability only works now because we have the full team and they are getting more energy. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. What's the size of these characters? Level 100. Level 100, 7 yellow stars, 6 red stars. Bro, this is not good. Like, you are, you are selling me a team at 7 red or 6 red? Nah, bro, no. Nope. If the team needs to be this big to be successful, that's not good. Okay, let's do the ultimate, I guess. I mean, at this point, at this point, it doesn't matter anymore. If the team needs to be this big to be good, then it's not a good team. Okay, so that's it. Do not unlock the Spider-Man until you have uh, the Pavir. It seems like the Pavir is going to be more important than this guy. Spread those, yeah, I, okay, I mean, yeah, sure. They should auto... Uh, yeah, we can try to, to auto to see what are the results. So we're going to do that in... Uh, let's, yeah, let's quit. But I mean, with this size, with this size, for sure they auto. But it's 7 yellow, 6 red. 7 yellow, 6 red, level 100. It's pointless. It's, it's absolutely pointless. What was the most effective team on red release? Oh, it, that seed. That, that seed was a monster. That seed was an absolute monster when it was released. Pe Pegasus? No, Pegasus also had a, a rework before release. That seed was the only team that uh, obliterated raids when they came out. But you can also talk about Bifrost, right? Bifrost, they only needed three members for the team to win. So that's remarkable. 
Okay, so I mean, once again, at this size, 7 yellow, 6 red, level 100, even on auto, I expect them to win. But this is unrealistic for 99% uh, of the player base. So, yeah, I guess congratulations, you made the team for Wales. So they keep it evades. Safeguard the. They they really struggled with offense up. They really struggle struggle of keeping up their offense up. Yeah, no offense up. They only have one ability that gives offense up, I think. Which is the special of a Spider B Parker. Or Peter B. Parker. They put the guy on a pink robe. Why not a grey robe? Why it has to be pink? Uh, okay, so there we go. Finally, you got the offense up. And we are still here. It's still the first node. We are still on the first node. Man, what is this? It's taking so long. At this size, the, the team should really obliterate. The animations are very fun. I, I think the, the Penny Parker animation looks good, but uh, it seems a little bit out of place. It's the only it's the only mission we have like that. Seems a little bit out, out of place. Yeah, we had a lag spike. We had a, a two seconds lag spike. Doesn't matter, they need to be geared 18 uh, level one hour to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too big. In my opinion, this is just too big. And uh, and that makes it a little bit unreasonable. If they need to be this big to be successful, then I cannot see it as like a good team. It's just another Rebirth 2.0 that as soon as the next raid comes, they will get instantly replaced. Unless they keep with this schedule, that, that they will always release skill teams in uh, in April. It might just be a schedule thing, so you can always predict uh, when the, the new skill rate teams will show up. Okay, big ultimizer. Man, it, it's just... I mean, it's working. It's working, but it's... It feels like they are struggling a little bit. Or maybe they rely too much on the bleed damage to finish them off. Noir doing some damage. And then they're going to struggle with the negative effects. They are definitely going to struggle with those negative effects. Okay, it's not trash. It's not trash, but but it's not gonna work until uh, Pavit show up shows up. Because she's anime. <laughs> yeah, that might be the case. Honestly, I think at level one hundred invaders can still clear the nodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invaders, if you get them big enough, they can do it. Yeah. Level 99. Yeah, I, I think so. Like The problem with the invaders is that uh, they don't have any use uh, elsewhere. And uh, this team, at least, it seems like it's going to have some use uh, in Cosmic Crucible and in War. Maybe, maybe. War is also getting super saturated in terms of teams. War is getting super saturated also in terms of teams, especially for defense. So, so we'll see. 
Soon we, we need 20 rooms in water. Okay, so now we had a good spread, right? So this time, Ghost Spider, she was able to spread those negative effects towards everyone. <laughs> and then Squirrel Girl cl clears it away. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. I, I, I feel like this team is going to wipe now. I feel like this team is going to wipe now on the boss node. Let's see. No, maybe not. Maybe not. But those Spider-Man big times, they really don't want to die. Nine enemies left. Okay. Let's see. They are struggling a little bit. Stanley said anyone can be Spider-Man. Because the whole movie is about feminizing, embracing and replacing Spider-Man with a better female, black, trans, spider people. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. Pav will be plug and play on Tango Web Crucible. Yes, yes, yes. That speed up that he gives is very strong. He's going to be like Nick Fury. If you think about it, he's going to be similar to Nick Fury because he gives speed up to all uh, hero Spider-Verse characters or hero allies or something. So that's going to make him quite powerful in terms of plug and play. But this is still going. This is still going. So I'm not sure. Or the damage is not very impressive. So for example, Ghost Spider with offense up, only doing 1.1 million damage. That might feel a little bit low. So yeah, this is a new team that might start struggling right away on the on the next raids. Unless the next raids really have like very weak enemies, which might be the case. Okay, I mean, three minutes on the boss node, seven yellow, six red. I don't know, I don't know. Invaders 2.0. I don't know. It's like Rebirth. It's like Rebirth without Super Scroll. Rebirth with Super Scroll was very strong. But without Super Scroll, not so strong. So yeah, once again, I think they're going to be very de dependent on this guy. If you guys are thinking about uh, unlocking this team or not, uh, the only character you should unlock is the last one. Let's be honest. That's the only character you should unlock. The Pavit... And the other guy, you're going to be able to unlock them with the, the free-to-play event. We just tested and the team does not work as a three-piece. Maybe as a four-piece it will work, but it's definitely not working right now. So if you are undecided if you should buy this team or not, for now, I would definitely skip. They need a... Yeah, yeah. They could give invaders a war buff. That, yeah, that could be a case. That could be the case. Should we trust a guy with a pink robe? That's a good question. That's the question we are all here for. Uh, yeah, quick draw. Yeah, I try with Black Knight. I try with Black Cat. I tried with Nick Fury. I tried without Nick Fury. It, it just didn't work out. Or the minions die too fast. The biggest problem is that the team is just so slow. If you could get to the point where you can spread the blind with Ghost Spider. If you could spread the blind. Then yeah, then the team would have a chance. But, but it's not the case. It's not the case. She takes way too long for, uh, for her to take. She, she doesn't start with full energy. That's the first problem. She doesn't start with full energy. Then when she has enough energy to spread the blind, you are stuck on uh, multiple towns. You might not have the blind on the right character to spread. So, yeah, that's another problem. Raging Nerd, welcome back. That's another problem. Is that the, the animations take very long? And we also have assist animations. Assist animations that 
we have known for a while that uh, they, they just take way too long. It's like invaders. All those assists and so on, they just make you waste time. And compared to that seed, yeah, that seed, they also had assists. But the, the difference in damage, the damage of that seed was so high that we never felt like the, the assists were a problem. But here you definitely feel like the assists are, are just holding you back. Yeah, it's Invaders 2.0 in terms of animation, yeah. The, the sp the, this guy is also way too slow. If he could heal up the Black Knight... If he could heal up Black Knight, maybe they have a chance. But he only heals Hero Spider-Verse characters, and that's the problem. If he would heal up all allies, that would allow to keep Black Knight alive and, uh, and uh, Black Cat alive. Unfortunately, it's not the case. He also struggles to apply the offense down for two turns. He doesn't have enough focus, even as a skirmisher. And this apply offense up. I, I didn't see this apply offense up. I'm not sure if it's actually working. Need to watch the replays, but that was very not good. It was just not good. Yeah, the, the new raid, I don't think... The new raid might be next year. Usually the new raids, they show up... Uh, February, January or February of the, the next year, right? So now we got 2.3. 2.3 should last all the way to, to January or February. Reverse 2.0, but Noir is scroll, yeah. Yeah, I think I think Noir is going places. Noir is going places. It's just other characters are not so good. Oro, what's up? Welcome back. What are the next battle pass and strike pass characters? It's gonna be the only ones we we know so far is the zombie juggernaut. We had Star Brand. We had Cosmic Ghost Rider. The next one, the battle pass is gonna be zombie juggernaut. The one after that, on the strike pass, we don't know yet. We got some data mines, let's see. Oh, we got two, two data mines. Yeah, everyone too slow except Noir. They have some speed bar mechanics, but the speed bar mechanics are not uh, very good. It's not like... Uh, it's not like Spider-Man Noir. So, uh, it's not like... Um, Nightcrawler. So Nightcrawler gives speed bar whenever he crits. Not the case with these guys. Okay, so we have uh, two sets of data mines. Let's open them. Let's see what's new. Maybe we have some new information. Pineapple ham pizza. Yes, I like. I'm struggling to get the CC teams to 100. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, these 20 million gold on this guy are really gonna hit me on the on the Cosmic Crucible teams and also on the Dark Dimension Progress. Speaking of Dark Dimension Progress, let's see what items can we buy and then we'll check the data mines. Okay, bro, keep... Yeah, yeah, we already got him. So Chromium, I have seven Chromium, but I don't have any character to use Chromium on. More Misty Gear. We don't need Misty Gear right now. I actually need the green one, not the, the red one. So we're going to skip that for now. Hawaiian Pizza, very good. I agree. Not everyone agrees. So here in Hungary, there is a burger with pineapple. So, I don't like it. So, don't think I, I like everything with pineapple, no. It's just the pizza, not the burgers. Okay, this is all garbage. We don't need any of these. We are still waiting for the Cosmic Crucible payout. And I still need more Dark Promos for the scroll. Void my Diamonds, okay. One day, maybe not. I get the diamonds. No, we don't need any of that. I'm just going to buy this. And then I hope that the, the reset the store. I 
I'm not sure why people hate it. Is, is it because it's sweet or or what? Or it's just because it's disrespect it's disrespectful towards uh, the culture. Cosmic Crucible issue resolved. Did they send the wrong ones? I think they sent the wrong ones. Please tell me they sent the wrong ones. Ah, uh, no, I, I need these ones. No, they said send the correct ones. Unfortunately, they sent the correct ones. Okay, so what else is there? Peter B. Parker recruit out of time. And uh, we have also the campaign. We're going to do the campaign in a second. I just want to open these Crimson Orbs. See if you are lucky. 10 Orbs, please. Show me the Uniques for Firestar. Okay, that's nice. So we have uh, Gamma Radiation for uh, the Leader and Astral Energy for Apocalypse. I might just get up Apocalypse early on, right? It's taking so long to get the gear for uh, Firestar. Might be faster to get up Apocalypse first. Okay, so what I want... Oh, the data mines. Okay, let's take a look into that. Tomato sauce with the pineapple. Yeah, that's why pizzas, they are better with the guacamole instead of tomato sauce. <laughs> okay, let's see. Two sets of data mines. What do we have here? Second, second strike, announcement, second strike, unlock more characters, and progress towards this unlock character, fight against Ultimus, gain points by spending campaign energy, raid battles, battling in, in arena and spending power cores, you increase to your player level, you'll be able to get... Uh, okay. Oh, this is for new players, I guess. I guess this is a faster way to get like experience to level up. Pineapple on barbecue chicken pizza. Sounds good, sounds good. Might as well get up uh, Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's just taking way too long to, to get the uniques for uh, for Firestar. Okay, so we have the unlock for Peter B. Parker already. And also Crimson Gear. Okay, cool. So gain progress towards this event by earning planetary orbs and spending campaign energy. So make sure you save your energy after this event that we have going on right now. Or skip this event entirely. We'll also earn points towards the long month event. Okay. Power up your Void Knight. With charts from a limited time surfer orb. You can find them. Blitz Web Milestone. Okay, so this is going to be part of the unlock for Peter B. Parker. We'll also get Void Knight shards. Interesting. And then we have uh, free claims, limited, isolate hard campaign nodes for 48 hours. Ooh, it's going to be one of those events. Ooh, you guys remember this type of events? So it's that event that you have to spend campaign energy throughout the week, but you have one day where you get orbs from the campaign energies, the isolate campaign energies. And then uh, you get points from the Blitzing. I don't remember which was the last character you got like this, but it was very garbage. Oh, this was a very garbage event. And they're going to do it again. Oof. Okay, so there we go. Tony Sweet, Michael C, welcome back, guys. Steven Cole, no hate, no hate. Nani to Nando, one night to Dubai. Oh man, it's gonna be one of those events. Oh, do you guys understand? So once again, seven days where you have to spend your yellow campaign energy 
two days where you have to spend your ISO 8 energy on specific nodes. So this means if you want to maximize the event, you have to spend a lot of power, uh, power quarters refreshing the ISO 8 nodes. And then you have one day of non-stop bleeds. Oh, it's two days. Two days of bleeds. Yikes. From April 19 to April uh, 21. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, moving on. Unlock a new character. This might be for the new players. Revenge of the Bleeds. Revenge of the Bleeds? What the hell is this? Revenge of the Bleeds. Earn Bleeds credits and reap more rewards on the web store. Wow, sounds scary, right? Sounds scary. Two days, this, this should be for the, okay, yeah, this is the announcement of the two days of blitzing. Burger King? Yeah, yeah, probably yes, yeah. Maybe it was the character that was like this. I don't remember. I know we had a character like this recently, but I don't remember which one. Maintenance, maintenance soon, really? Maintenance on the ninth, why? Maintenance on the 9th. Interesting. Oh, they probably are preparing for the the moments or the new game mode or something. Okay, cool. It was for Void Knight. Yeah, it was or for Void Knight or for Black Knight. One of them. Okay, this is the second set of data mines that we got today. Try to complete these events with the villains. Okay, cool. Here we have uh, strike milestones. Okay, once again, this is for new players. Okay, it's the same information, I guess. Okay, so nothing special. Season pass, uh, no. We need to know which is the next character to go for the strike pass. Dark Avenger, okay, let's see. Dark Avenger, Dark Leader Orbs, Iron Patriot. So it seems like they are, they are going to bring back, it seems like they are going to bring back the Iron Patriot Orb in case you want to spend more power cores on the Iron Patriot Orb. And this should allow you to unlock the skin for him. I'm not sure if the skin is available for every, Did you guys obtain the skin unlocking the... Dire and Patriot free to play or not really? Oh, that would be lovely. We really need that to uh, open our orbs again. But they are scared of, of doing it and crashing out the, the game again. Okay, power up, unlock, okay. This is a bunch of offers related with uh, the Spider-Man. Tax Day 24. So yeah, we have a Tax Day celebration. That's crazy. Tax Day celebration for Wenham, Training Materials Gold, Zim Gold. Wow, so this should be coming next week. Next week, whenever we have the, the Zombie Iron Man event, we are going to get the Tax Day celebration. This, this is American thing for sure. Probably like uh, Black Friday. Tax Day Pestilence. Tax Day Orb Stravaganza. Tons and tons of offers. If you guys were uh, thinking that Marvel Strike Force does not have enough offers, there you go. A ton more of offers for the Tax Day celebration. You got your tax refunds. You can spend them now if you want. Okay, Peter B. Parker. Society Uniques. Okay, Showcase. We're going to do that in a second. Nature Wars. Second Strike. Once again, this is for new players. And that's it. Okay, cool. So we have all the information from... 
<laughs> if you got any money from your tax uh, refunds or how, how you guys call it, then you can spend it all. The maintenance is the real work for this junk team. I oh, mean, I really wish. I really wish. The team looks, like I was saying, the team looks a little bit disappointing at low levels. If they are struggling to land negative effects, even with Skirmisher Eyes Await, those are not good news. Okay, let's take a look at all the rewards we have on this challenge. On the one for Cabal, I quartered for the, the leader to get these extra rewards. Not sure if it makes sense for this one. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this one is giving... Is it the same or more? No, this one gives more ice weight to level 5. The other one had like 1.4. This one is going to have 2.2 uh, million. Unless they are divided in a different order. They might be divided on a different order. But it's time It's time for them to put Crimson gear here. It's time for them to put a little bit of Crimson gear. They want us to use characters at gear T16, 6 yellow. And this is all you give. It's too low. Okay, here we go. Let's out all this nonsense. Scream rework, hopefully one day. And uh, big time. We don't need to use any of the new characters. Okay, nice. Ryan, what's up, Ryan? Here in Mexico, I requested my tax returns and I got like uh, 350 USDs. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. In terms of Euro Euro Western European, Eastern, in terms of Eastern European values, 350 is pretty decent. Tax day for our democracy, that's a great slogan. That's a great slogan. We have to do arena. Okay, cool. Ay. So yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to struggle through these skill nodes. We still have to use the, the invaders. Do you guys remember back in the day when uh, whenever they would release a new team, a new raid team, they would work with three people? It has been a while since that happened. Do you see Kraken Ray Bill out? Yeah, yeah. Mephisto maxed it out, yeah. He was here in the chat uh, the day after he, he unlocked Mephisto. I'll be lucky if I don't owe criminals. Six, oh, yikes. 5k. Do you use Cabal in water? Someone told me a team that uh, where I can use uh, Cabal. But no, right now I'm not using Cabal anywhere. I've been trying to find some combo where I can use Cabal. Maybe I'll just drop them on defense with Black Knight and, and, uh, and see what happens. Oh, I forgot about Arena. Okay, we still have one minute. You guys overseas have... Uh, buy an accountant. No, I mean, no. You, you can do your taxes yourself. It, it's not that hard to, to learn how to do the taxes. At least here in Europe, it's not that difficult. When I was on the university last time uh, with an accounting degree, it was pretty easy. You just need to know which you need to know which paper you need to fill. You can do it online now, so it's even easier. And then you just have to see which sections you have to fill. But uh, you also don't have to do your taxes if your uh, income is lower than uh, 20k a year or something. So... So overall it's not a big deal. Okay, so we have the raid rewards, okay. Rank 1, uh, ooh. Rank 1 is scary. So I'm gonna get catapulted for sure. Spider India, Dark Dimension Potential. Uh, we can take a look at that. You guys want to take a look at that? 
I don't think they will have a lot of value. But because he's fast, he might have some value. You only... So you don't have to do your taxes if you are an individual. But if you have any kind of a corporation if, or a company or anything like that, then yes. I'm not sure if, uh, if one person companies also need to be done by an um, accountant. But uh, very likely. Does Cabal work very well with Omega Red and Doom? No. I don't like it. I mean, maybe some people like it against some specific matchup. But I don't like it. Do what I do, claim zero, except claim zero, exempt you always get a refund. Yeah, there are always ways to play around it. Some people, I know that some people in Portugal, they use like all the tickets whenever they go to the supermarket or to the gas station or anything, they have all those tickets and then they pull they put all those tickets on uh, on the tax return and they get some cool stuff after but um, it, it's like collecting coupons right you need to get a ton of them what about uh, cabal apocalypse i'm not sure like the the problem is where it, or uh, against who you are going to use them against who are you going to use them Speaking of Cabal, isolate for Iron Patriot, Striker, no. Striker or Skirmisher, Iron Patriot or Skirmisher or, or Raider. Leader Striker, yes. Leader Striker, but Iron Patriot or Raider or Skirmisher. I'm going to get sniped, right? Yeah, two minutes left, for sure I'm going to get sniped. Unless my arena shard now is very nice and lets me get these 500 power cores. If you make a certain amount of money, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Refunds are only if you if you are below a certain threshold. Yeah, we got a, a new government now in Portugal. Supposedly they are going to lower the taxes. Let's see. I think all politicians promise that. Or at least most of them. My arena defense, it's, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Basic arena defense, basic arena defense, nothing special. War defense potential. So the problem with Cabal is that they are very, very slow. They are very, very slow. The leader, the leader is nice because he's giving barrier. So even that the team is slow, the leader can give barrier and so on, and that protects the, the fact that, that the team is slow, right? It covers up the fact that it, the team is slow. But the problem, for example, the leader, the AI, don't they, don't they have a good system to attack a specific target with a special? The, the Iron Patriot and the, the Namor, they are fine for defense, they are great for defense. He's just a leader, he's not so good for defense. But then again, he has the passive that protects them. So the problem is, or you put them together with Super Scroll, so the Super Scroll delays the enemies and allows you to attack. Or you put them together with like Dormammu or something, and Emma Frost. I, th I think Dormammu Emma Frost is better than uh, Apocalypse with Emma. Because like that, they'll have more speed advantage. But overall, I didn't find a good place for them yet. Neither on defense, neither on offense. Shows, welcome back. How is life going without uh, Crucible shows? Position of your arena again? Sure. Wow, we actually got rank 1. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for my... Arena participates. Okay, yeah, this is the, the position I use. This is the position I use. 
I put scroll behind Black Knight because you want your scroll to take the first turn, but not the second turn. So if they are using their own scroll, you can kind of delay them. Apoc Apocalypse in the middle stops the, the chain attacks. Iron Light pushes the town to the other side in case uh, the, the Black Knight loses his town with uh, the Void Knight. So yeah. But it gets destroyed. Every now and then it gets destroyed. So it's not like uh, unbeatable by any means. Okay, so let's take a look at the offers. Then we take a look at the Spider Society in uh, in Dark Dimension. I, I think I heard... What, was it Torquid that said Spider Society for Dark Dimension? He has some very strange suggestions. But... Uh, I'm trying to be nice, so I'm not going to criticize anyone. Okay, $5, we can get a bunch of gold. Yesterday, wow, guys, yesterday I had like the best seed ever. Best seed ever. I was popping up millions of gold on gold orbs like crazy. One of those, one of those seeds that is just amazing. In like eight orbs, I opened two times. 1 million gold uh, and uh, I opened some other orbs that also had a very good uh, stuff inside yeah I don't remember which one but it was great really allowed me to catch up uh, Cabal with Strife and Emma Frost yes I thought about that so because you have Namor as a villain mutant Emma Frost also villain mutant that allows Strife to go first and then you also have the 10% speed bar advantage it's good, but uh, how many people really want to invest on Strife? It requires your Strife to be very big. It's a good combo. I tried it in water. It's fun. I'm not sure where we're going to use it. But the problem is, who really wants to get up Strife to like gear tier 18 or something? Not a lot of people. But yeah, it has some potential. But Strife really needs to get a rework to have like more synergy with the... Uh, with more villain mutants or villain characters. So the combo is like this. Where it is. Mutant. Emma Frost. Strife. And when to put the leader next to Strife. And then you can do like this. Neymar in the middle. So yeah, the, the, the setup is like this. So you start the match, you have the speed advantage from Emma Frost. So it's not going to work against teams that have uh, speed, speed protection like Nightcrawler, Apocalypse and so on. I think they were able to beat like Pegasus or something. Which is not bad. I mean, it's not bad. But it's not good. But yeah, so Strife right away goes with the Taunt. And that will protect your team. Then he gives energy to himself, which allow him to taunt again and uh, and do his ultimate that applies ability block to multiple people. The leader next to him because he has the evades, so my, I think that makes sense. Namor does his ultimate. I mean, if you have a really big strife, if you have a really big strife that is able to to tank it. You can see he has the barriers, defense up, he has deflects. So once again, it's a good combo. It's a good combo. The problem is just making sure that uh, you can get to the point where you need to be. Okay, so we got a stun. Defense down, massive amount of damage. Namor with his special. And now the leader is going to give energy to Namor. So he's going to be able to do his ultimate once again soon. Strife now, he could ability block multiple targets. Gains another taunt. I'm not sure why he gives another taunt to himself, but okay. So yeah, I'm going to save this because I want to show that, uh, yes, this guy has another special. Like, there is some potential here, but once again, who really wants to get up Strife? I, I want, I want. One of my favorite characters. I, I want to get him up. 
But his stats are not that great. He's like meta from two years ago, so... Okay, leader basic. Triple assist. Emma Frost now with the, the blind. Nice. Iron Patriot with the special again. Like, the team really shreds. You, you guys can see, right? The team shreds. And now Strife with the ultimate, or with, yeah, with ultimate blo ability block to three targets. I mean, if you can pull it off, it's very powerful. Once again, it's a great combo, but who wants to get up Strife? What about Mr. Sinister? Uh, the problem with Mr. Sinister is that you need Strife to protect the team. You need to make sure that the early attacks are going towards the, the leader and the, and the tank. So... That's why Strife here makes sense. You can use you can use Mr. Sinister, but it has to be against teams that are very, very slow. So Mr. Sinister versus like um, uh, Asgardians or something, Val Asgardians, maybe it works. But it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Okay, we'll see. Maybe one day I'll be crazy enough. If I get like one of those when uh, 100 million drops of gold I, I will get up this team but right now i just can't afford it okay 8000 power cores great let's see if you can get those 10,000 power cores fast enough okay let's go into the store offer review really quick as corner chairman says offer review is give us money yeah we need like villain mutants rework Brotherhood, the, the Marauders as well. Maybe it's also time to get the Nasty Boys or to get the Avalanche. Okay, so I usually buy this offer. I'm not sure if it's great. It's like what, 13 orbs? So if each five orb has close to a million gold. So it's like 2.5 million gold for five dollars it's not amazing but you can get lucky or you can save the orbs for a one day that you have a good seed then we have uh, these this also has good value not the best value but some okay value the problem is that it costs three dollars and three is not multiple of five and i find it very annoying Okay, we have the Spider-Man offers. These guys, T4s, no thanks. So this is 140 orbs. This might make sense for someone, not for me. 30 shards for Cosmic Ghost Rider. So if you take a look on how they release characters now, if you buy the offer, if you buy the Battle Pass, if you complete the event, you still don't get enough shards to get these guys at uh, six stars. And that's why they are so happy to sell us these offers for $20. Because usually they sell for $35, right? 50 shards, $35. But this is the bait. They make it in a way that even if you buy one offer, even if you complete the event with all the character shards, even if you buy the battle pass, you still need to buy one of these to get them to six yellow, six yellow, six red. The Nasty Boys would be hilarious. I think they have some very unique characters, so I'd, I would definitely like to see it. They need Iron Patriot Speed Bar to work outside of CC. I would like to see that, but I think it just makes it too overpowered. I think they would get just way too overpowered. Black Knight plus Star Brand. I keep saying that Star Brand is underrated. I, I still believe that. Yesterday I was testing uh, counters against Out of Time, and one big Star Brand doing his ultimate, he does a lot of damage, and if your characters die, they cannot be revived, so it can be quite nasty. 3 million gold, okay. If it was a little bit cheaper, maybe. Red Goblin, more Star Brand. A lot of points for anyone that wants to do the exploit. If you want to do the exploit, maybe this is interesting. And uh, that's it. 
I think Scopely knows that people are doing the exploit on on purpose. And that's why they have these offers, right? That's why they have these kind of offers. So you you buy these and then you have the chance of doing the exploit. Because otherwise, like it doesn't make sense. So I mean 400,000 points, 125,000 points. And it's like over three times the price. It's four times the cost. It doesn't make sense unless they are expecting you to, to buy something. It's like they had the, these for 40, 41,000 plus 1 million gold. So, and uh, the, the invoice, the, the invoice are not talking about the, the exploit of the, the milestones. So they know someone is benefiting out of this. And they are just going to let it slide. And I got so much hate. Like, I got so much hate in my video, in the comments. Oh, why don't you show the the exploit? I cannot compromise. I cannot put my account on risk for this, bro. Like, what are you thinking? But yeah, even some people are thinking that it's not working anymore. But someone uh, even today told me that uh, it worked for them. Even that, I, I didn't tell anyone how to do this. How does Superior 6 versus Out of Time uh, battle work in water? Uh, let's see if we have the chance. So, big shout out to... I'm not sure if I should say his name. Big shout out to that person that contacted me this morning with that new counter for Out of Time. Very interesting. Let's see if you have a chance to test him out. And uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll talk in a second about the, the Spider Society in uh, in the art dimension. Okay, there you go. Five only power cores. That's amazing. That's really amazing. $10 worth of power cores right there. Love it. 20 more power cores. 25,000 gold. Yes, please. Not 25 million. No, just 25,000. Okay, we are very tired. What's the message when they ban you? Uh, account suspended. It says your account has been suspended. And that's it. No special message. No special message. Okay, full live mind with Black Knight. Yikes. That's a big yikes for sure. Small Black Knight, but that's going to be a lot of problems. So we might have to go to this reactor. Infinity Watch. Oh, but we are on the reactor. Oh, that's a big Infinity Watch on the reactor. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, so or I do mirror match. And I risk myself getting very unlucky. Or I can use Wakanda here. Wakanda on a very big Infinity Watch. It might be a waste, but okay, we're going to do it. Let's do it anyway. I could probably use Uncanny, but because it's on, uh, on the reactor, it's better to play safe. What kind of will get destroyed? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Th thanks for the the message in the morning. That uh, that counter with the Phoenix was very cool. Three Spider, welcome back. What kind of will get destroyed on uh, on reactor? Of Nazare, welcome back. What did I miss? I heard Cabal is bad for Dark Dimension Seven. They start strong, but they take forever to build energy to use the ultimate and the special. I mean, uh, it, it's the um, it's like a, any other team, right? It's like any other team with cooldowns, like Black Knight. Okay, Black Knight also has very long cooldowns, so it's like Forge. Forge also has very long cooldowns. Nightcrawler also has very long cooldowns on the ultimate. It depends on which characters you pair them up with. It depends on which characters you pair them up with. 
the the cabala they can give speed up to themselves so if you have a character that applies slow to everyone and you have your characters with speed up then you're gonna be able to recover the cooldowns faster it's just can you go brain dead and just spam ultimates like you do with some characters no you cannot do that so you just have to be a little bit more careful with how you play with them okay i'm gonna go use my infinity watch infinity watch versus infinity watch i would try and kenny in other room but on the reactor i really don't want to risk it okay here we go infinity watch versus infinity watch let's see if you can still do it well you won't be able to spread positive effects with bashenga yeah that's true so for example if you have Kabbalah with the uh, zombie juggernaut then the cabal is very strong because you can apply slow often to the enemies you can also spread a lot of bleeds and so on so it really depends on which other characters you are using together with them okay are the more about getting destroyed yikes we don't have any death proofs to catch so i'm just gonna use the basic start shipping away that uh, file of value infinity watch versus infinity watch i like to go after file of L first infinity watch versus wakanda i like to go after moonstone first okay so far so good they have that proofs now now my file of L is getting focused on let's go for the offense down on gamora nice okay turn you wind on nebula that's fine we are going to turn you wind their adam warlock so they cannot stun us great gamora now oh this this might be interesting can i one shot this guy level 97 it might be way too big no we're gonna focus on uh, let's still focus on file of L. it's not optimal but uh yeah let's see okay she almost got destroyed they go after nebula but she has offense down that's a big win for us now we're gonna stun their adam warlock okay here we go we also have the ability block to use after Hard focus on my Nebula. Two dead proofs left. Counters for everyone on their team. Let's go now with my Fire Vela as well. Delete theirs. So they lose the dead proof. No assist from Nebula. Well, that was a little bit strange. Okay, Mind Controller. Bye. Now you have to stop the Moon Dragon before she does her ultimate. Swipe. Wow, 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 wow. My Gamora destroyed these mofos. That was uh, annihilation. Damn, that was crazy. Okay, so here comes the stun. Stun on my other Morlock before I was able to ability block him. And stun on my Gamora, yikes. Stun on my Gamora, let's see. Basic. Nebula gets destroyed. My Nebula is about to die, but that's good. Because she would lose the slow. I guess not. Okay, big ultimate with the uh, Moon Dragon. My Nebula finally dies. Let's you go with the basic. No that uh, no evades yet. Oh man, is that a Morlock is taking way too many turns? Okay, ability blocker, so they cannot get evades, and she's going to die. Great. Evades, and now we win. Okay, easy. So that's the, the best way to, to finish off uh, Infinity Watch Mirror match. Turn you wind Adam Warlock, stand Adam Warlock. Apply offense down to Gamora with Fire of Valor. And that's it. Easy. Thinking about taking 3 Extreme to, to Dark Dimension 7 Global. Which 3 Extreme? Which 3 Extreme? You can take Sunspot, you can take 
Nightcrawler and you take Forge. You can take those three. But Gambit, I would not recommend because you cannot bring Gambit and Nightcrawler at the same time. Eh? And... Uh, Gambit and Nightcrawl at the same time is not a good idea. And Cyclops is nice, but uh, might not be a good option. But if you take Forge, Nightcrawler, and Sunspot, I, I think you're going to have a good setup. But for that, you cannot bring mutants for uh, for City. Otherwise, it's it's a big strain on your mutant gear. By the time I can get into Dark Dimension 7, there will be a bunch of new characters, hopefully. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you get another Extreme, something similar to Extreme, that, uh, that is able to play... Like Alpha Flight. I mean, Alpha Flight might be very good for, uh, for Dark Dimension Global. And th this is... So, if you're gonna... If you are anywhere near starting Dark Dimension... Seven, just focus on the city characters and on Val. Like Val, Kang, those characters are fine. But for global and maybe cosmic, we might get some Alpha Flight characters. Or this new team that is coming, the Mercs for Money. We might get some characters that change the, the paradigm. Okay, another Infinity Watch. Another Infinity Watch. We have that... Um, Team over there. Do we have security here? No, we have the armory. So you might have the cargo bay under. And uh, the... And the armory on the sides. So you're gonna try to pierce it. Do they have the... No, they... Oh, they have the, the security down. So the security is down in the middle. This one we can skip it for now. Let's just ignore this. And that's it. No one attacks? Okay. I go. Oh, I cannot use Uncanny anymore. I cannot use Uncanny anymore because I want to use that counter on stream. So, let's use Wakanda, I guess. Or let's see which other rooms we have. Yeah, let's go with Wakanda. Okay, this one works, right? Oh, they have Deadpool there. They don't have Nebula. What? What is this? It does not make any sense. You remove Nebula from here. Why? They are saying you can't clear no tree without a super scroller. Of course you can. Th that's why I'm taking Val. That's why I'm taking Val early. Is to make sure that every time Val uses her ultimate, she can rip. Other thing that uh, maybe might change my plans. Oh no, you can't, you can't. You have to take or Val or Nightcrawler. But yeah, so... Yeah, so you have to take or Val or Nightcrawler, yeah. But if you are taking Val plus Vulture plus Robbie Rays... No, Robbie Rays you take after, so... Vulture... Lizard, Craven, Firestar. Those are very fast characters that uh, you can attack the exposed of Val, and then Val just pumps her ultimate. So I understand that scroll makes it easy, but it can't be impossible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah. But if you're taking Val, I mean, she's gonna ability block everyone. Kirill, welcome back. Yes, yes. We we opened the, the B Parker. We test him out. He didn't do much. He didn't do much, unfortunately. Okay, there we go. Shuri Striker. Now we can start. Now we can start with the Shuri Striker. But yeah. I, I think... Uh, I'm sure, I mean... Impossible without Super Scroll. I mean, of course, Super Scroll is important, but to say that is impossible. 
That should be a overstatement. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go after Moon. Uh, we still go after Moon Dragon. Okay, so we're gonna give the energy. Now we cannot uh, get the evades, but we can get those death proofs. So let's get the death proofs. Oh, we still get the evades even without Nebula. That's great. Damn, this Moon Dragon is getting destroyed. They have a lot of. Um, they have a lot of um, power. But it's fake power. Death Pool has taunt now. Interesting. I had no idea that uh, Death Pool would get uh, a taunt. Okay, so let's use the Striker as a way to with the Shuri. That's why we brought her. Striker as a way to Shuri kills the Gamora. Striker as a way to Shuri is just too overpowered, guys. It doesn't give us a chance. She just destroys. Somehow we didn't got a crit with the. Uh, Black Panther, and that's why I don't have uh, any of the um, counter attacks. Let's apply offense down over here. Oh, she gone. Okay. Big ultimate. Big pointless ultimate. Should he strike her as a weight or defense up? Let's go with the defense up. We need energy. More energy. That's way too many, too much energy. Okay, but Shingen now with a special. The, ba the basic would be better, but anyway. They are, they're gone. Do you identify Val as being male or female? For me, Val is, is female. Val in uh, Latin languages is a female name. So I call Val like... Like he, she, they, them, Bebop is a woman. And if you don't know what the Roman language is, it's like Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, French. I'm not sure. Romanian is also Latin language. I'm not sure if Greek is considered a Latin language or not. It should be, right? But I'm not sure. Okay, we have invaders. Invaders. No, new new what? New Avengers. Pegasus with the cloak and dagger. That's scary. Pegasus with cloak and dagger is scary. Then, oh man, we have exactly the same defense. Let's see how they are doing against... Our defense. I just checked. Only two people cleared the not three. Without a super <laughs> super structure. <laughs> but they had Apocalypse and Black Knight. Yeah, Black Knight there doesn't do anything. I think uh, Spanish Valor would be like uh, Valerie. Yes, 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 yeah. Yeah, 100%. Okay, they are going through our defense. They are going through our defense. Are they struggling a little bit or not really? Man, these guys are pros. They are not struggling at all. Okay, so let's see. Are they using the new defense or the old one? Uh, I'm not sure. No, I think it's the old one. So two wins, nice. Heroes for Hire still getting wins, it's crazy. This one, okay. They, as long as they use expensive teams, that's what we like. That's what we like. Okay. Not bad. Not bad on the security. And this one got a, what? Let's see. No wins on this one. High times. It's still using the outdated defense or not. No, it's updated. Okay, cool, cool. Expensive teams. I like I like expensive. Okay, okay, okay. That's interesting. Definitely interesting. This one, uh, I guess it doesn't have enough on offense. Okay, that interesting, interesting. Tony Sweets with a dono. Thank you very much for the support. Ricardo, for you. <laughs> Not sure if you like it. Thanks for thanks for the support. Okay, we have to wait a little bit. Let's see what's in the box. 
Is the still a red dot bug? Do you guys still have the red dot bug or is it just me? Maybe it's time to clear the cash of the game. This one, did he finish it? Oh no, you're still going through. Okay, this is very good for new players. Getting all these character shards for new players, I think it's very good. Okay, let's go. We'll do a few more war attacks in a second. Just need to... To catch up over here. Okay. In the meantime, we're gonna get those free claims. And yeah, so tomorrow is Friday. Ooh, tomorrow is gonna be such a non-event. The blog post for tomorrow, it's probably just gonna be next week event about the zombie juggernaut. And I guess, uh, did they give us the rooms already for Cosmic Crucible? I'm not sure about it. Not sure about it, but uh, at least we'll be talking about that. I'm really waiting for the, the rooms to become available so you can set them up. Because they don't fix they don't fix the, the team building on the website. Soccer. I mean, I like to play, I don't like to watch. I like to play everything, but to watch not really. I like soccer, I like uh, rugby, I like volleyball, basketball. I like all the sports. To watch it, not so much. And especially depends of if it's a European team or a, a like South American team. Because the, um, the European teams, they are way more defensive. So there is not a lot of goals. South American teams, they are way more aggressive. So they get a lot more goals and it's more exciting. So it depends. I usually only watch when it's like uh, national, the national teams playing against each other. A video on the teams already used. Okay, I, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I, I think Dorky Dad also did a, a video like that. I don't want to copy him. I have done that in the past as well. We did it on stream. We kind of did it on stream. Like I said, the last stream we had, Battery Bill was here. And uh, we discussed a little bit a few characters like Zombie Juggernaut. In my opinion, it's a good character. If you have the right team. I said the Cabal was, was going to be my option. And he said, oh, the Cabal is not so good. But then I said, oh, but if you have the Cabal with the character that applies slow or something like this. To, to increase the value of their speed up. Then it makes more sense. So, like anything in life, it depends on the context. Unless you are a, a blue haired person, then the context does not matter. Best video ever, best crucible defense, given unlimited money. I don't know. I think all the teams are beatable. If you go like full turtle, imagine you have a $1 million account, right? You have all the characters maxed out. It You can put everything on defense, but if you cannot full clear your opponent, you end up losing anyway. That's the problem that, uh, that a few of the whales have. The, I mean, the Wales don't have this problem. They use, they have so many teams at max level that they can even beat you with Web Warriors. They just have to do that triple tap. Yeah, it was in a, it was on Tuesday. It was on Tuesday. Yesterday I didn't stream because there was nothing going on. Today we had the Parker. So it was on Tuesday. We did Alliance Wars. We talked about different things. And that was one of the, one of the topics. But now since Fergus finished it, 
we have a uh, we have a few more teams to analyze okay we are done here i think let's go back to water see if we can find that cargo bay Every time I look at this guy, I, I just laugh. The guy looks hilarious. Really looks hilarious. Okay, one more? Or, or that's it? This might be one of those campaigns that have like 12 nodes. Ooh, Nemesis shows up. Okay, we can still do one more. Yeah, I appreciate everyone that has been showing up on the streams. Even that we don't have Cosmic Crucible. The War Meta is mostly figured out. So I appreciate everyone that has showed up. Even that uh, the, the... The content is a little bit slow lately. And yeah, so... We really need that new game mode. The... Battle world. But it's probably two more months until we get it. Maybe Alpha Fl I'm it's for almost for sure. I'm almost for sure that Alpha Flight will be the the team that will have some bonuses for that specific game mode. If you're gonna get the legendary team next patch, it makes sense that uh, Alpha Flight would be the New game mode team with the with the moments, and maybe Wolverine will have a moment with Alpha Flight, which is like a, a secondary type of synergies or something. Been trying to get here, been swamped with uh, with work. No problem, man. No problem. So you told me to watch the live stream of uh, of that guy. That we talked about the other day, man. I, I said it on other stream. I don't, I don't think you were here. The guy is really the Dart Grave Jr. Really Dart Grave Jr. I hope people can realize it uh, soon enough. Good matchup. So we have uh, Nowhere versus. Asgardians with Noir and American Chavez. Uh, I would say yes. Yes, quick draw. Yes. It's okay. I mean, it's not like amazing to waste uh, Noir versus Asgardians. But because of that Noir, that's a big Noir. I guess you can do it to play safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got very unimpressed with his with his attitude. He's, he's literally Dark Grave Jr. If that's how you talk to people, like trashing everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the problem. Yeah, that, that's a big problem. They cannot even understand the, the context. The, it's not... It's like you make a question, it's not like they don't understand the question. They don't understand the context of the question. It's like it's a, it's so far fetched like Anyway. Can't expect much from sociopaths. Give me gold. Gold please. I need more gold. I'm getting more and more Jewish. I need more gold. You're gonna rob all the gold from the Federal Reserve. Okay, let's do skill, tech, bio. I need bio and I need skill. Skill gear is gonna drop very fast. And also the bio gear. You have to make sure that you have both. Because the Spider Society, they use both of them. Okay, there we go. Lots of people unlocking Peter B. Parker. 
I hope they don't get disappointed because the guy doesn't get them anywhere. Okay, power course for the days. 200 should be enough. Okay. And another one. We can only maybe Hulk will have a moment with the uh, Alpha Flight as well. I don't know, man. I guess, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I don't know that much about comics to say that, but if you are saying it, it's because it's true. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, according to the developers, moments are a, a new mechanic or a, and some new stat. It's not a stat. How, how do you call it? It's like a new equipment, right? What do we call it? A equipment? So it's a new equipment that will give you stats when you pair them up with specific teams. So I think the, I think it would make sense for Wolverine and, and the Hulk to have some specific synergies with uh, with Alpha Flight. If you have uh, if you have the those moments unlocked or something. Okay, so let's do let's go back to war. Do you think Black Knight will be around for a long time? Yes, yes, yeah. Black Knight is not going anywhere. Black Knight is not going anywhere. His passive is way too strong. The fact that he ability blocks as well. It's not only that he taunts and does massive amount of damage. It's that he also ability blocks. He also applies trauma. That trauma he does alone gives him a lot of value. I think he also gives the flex on his basic. So he's also provide. He's like, he's doing control, he's doing damage as a brawler, he's protecting the team. The guy is just so much value, so... Some people are spending their Dark Diamonds on getting like 3 Diamonds on Apocalypse. I'm not sure if it's better to get 3 Diamonds on Apocalypse or 2 Diamonds on Black Knight. Hulk has fought Sasquatch many times and the Sasquatch is a game character. Well, then I hope they bring uh, Sasquatch to the game. Eh? And maybe you can use them uh, together. Extreme with uh, scroll. Uh, I think I can have mine this. Do I have mine? I have mine. I have. Okay, I should be able to have mine this. Let's see. I have mine versus scroll plus. Should I save my team? This team is kind of small. Does anyone else has this? It's one of those situations. Oof. Okay, I'm going to use it. Okay, let's see. So... I've mind plus undying versus scroll and uh, extreme extreme unfortunately gamma has no chance versus extreme they really really struggle against uh, extreme okay let's see here goes the scroll we are not on the security so we can take those L's in the face Let's go for that uh, trauma. Okay, landed. Disrupt on the scroll, great. We could. Uh, let's ability block Nightcrawler. Let's ability block Nightcrawler. Because after we can ability block the the forge with the, with the zombie Iron Man. Oh, we don't have. Okay, we want Greg died. Wow, that's that was very close. Okay, so let's ability block uh, or ability block the scroll. No, I need to ability block the scroll because he has because he has no trauma. Okay, so far so good. 
So far, so good. Let's use the basic here. Spread those bleeds. Okay, now we can spread that ability block. Or just... No, I'm going to go for a forest ability block. Okay, play safe. The scroll killer, the, the night crawler. Love it. Oh, that's amazing. The scroll killing night crawler. That's really amazing. Okay, let's spread those. Nice. Let's extend it. Big damage. Great. We still have Venom with a spreader. Another Greg bites the dust. Okay, now we're going to remove energy from the scroll. No chance of doing any ultimates. Smash it with Juggernaut. And the game over. Okay, easy. Pretty easy. And dying versus extreme. Even if it's the rogue version, it's still pretty easy. You just have to be somewhat careful if the if the team is too slow. If, if it's, fuck. If the team is too small, you might trigger the town to, and get stuck there. Which Maverick? I don't know any a Maverick. What is this? Scroll down. Ask me in three days. Oh, this guy. I remember him from the, the TV show. But I, I don't remember the story behind him. David North. Maverick also. So, does that mean... So, the Alpha, could, that, could the Alpha Flight have two teams? Does the Alpha Flight have, like, a lot of members that would allow them to have... Two, two teams or not really so wonder what's up did you see the web milestone double deep bullshit people did nope I didn't see anything about it zero I did I saw zero about that didn't heard about it didn't see anything about it never heard about it double deep what I do not know what you speak of. Alpha Flight is now called Gamma Flight. They need to develop more tunes to apply exhaust mechanics on spawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, maybe next year. We'll... So this year we're going to get Mephisto. Mephisto applies exhaust. Next year we'll probably get another character that does that. Maybe Professor X applies exhaust on spawn. Yeah, Black Knight with exhaust is pretty garbage. Seven red stars, seven yellow stars, Black Knight. One shot to the other apocalypse. Wow. So it should be level 100. Boy and Bui, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Got big boy. Scroll today. How much DPC is needed for seven red? A lot. A lot. Like what? 20,000 or something? It's a lot. Let's see, I, I think I have that picture here. How many DPCs in total for uh, for the scroller? Super scroll, so you need 5,000, so 21,000 total. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of dark promo credits. I Brian Rodriguez, what's up? Welcome back. But so on, what's the problem with that? I mean, when when Artgrave was doing it, it wasn't a problem. Artgrave and, and maybe Boylan. I'm not sure if if it was also Boylan or not. Who needs to clear this up? The mentors, please clear that Quicksilver. MCU Silver Surfer will be a woman. What? Is that for real or is that a joke? I, I think I saw that, but I thought it was a, a joke or something because it was April Fools. Is that for real? 
Man, I hope you're joking. Milestone points. Let's see. Okay, we have five already. Let's see if I have enough to to get my my leader. Bring me to your leader. Let's see if we can get that leader to five yellow, five red. The guy's a beast. Female Thanos. Come on, that has to be like uh, April Fool's. There is no way that's true. People getting the screen, the rewards twice. Oh man, I, I didn't hear anything about that. Zero. But I'm not surprised because it was a bug in the past. That scopely doesn't fix. So I'm not surprised. Female Thanos. Oh, just hearing about it sounds hilarious. The new Spider-Man team is kind of... It's not skippable, but you should only build them up when you have the last character. If you are someone that buys characters, I would say to like skip the team and just buy the, the last character. If you buy characters, only buy the, the last character. We just tested the team live and uh, and it was not great not great trench tenos so so he still has a dig he, he's still doing the the therapy right yeah art grave in the past he was he was selling i'm not sure if it was i'm not sure if it was art grave or boylan it was one of those they have a Patreon, and on, on the Patreon, they were telling people how to, to use these exploits to double up the rewards. Female He-Man coming. <laughs> oh my god. Please don't kill me. Okay, so save the Power Quarters, or the Ultra Quarters, for the pass. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so owner. Like I, I did a video about it uh, yesterday or two days ago. I got so much hate for it. But yeah, it seems like the envoys are ignoring it. The player's voice is ignoring it. I know about the double deep. Like we saw the double deep live uh, on Tuesday. But uh, the the player's voice doesn't want to to talk about it. The envoys don't want to talk about it. Who am I to talk about it? I even got hate for talking about it. So yeah, if you double deep, enjoy it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the leader. Like the guy is very, very good. So we need two shards. Two shards, but I think I'm very far away of getting those two shards. Yeah, I need to wait for the next... Uh, Need to wait for the next event to, to, to get him at 5-5. Five, five. Hardgrave said he would show me an exploit if I showed him my... <laughs> oh, my God. And did he show? And did he show? And did he teach you or not really? Who is this? So it's a... F so there is a female Silver Surfer. Okay, so let's put it in, into context. There is a female Silver Surfer and they are making a movie about a female Silver Surfer. Is that the case? Or it's the male Silver Surfer that became trans? Doesn't have a lot of characters. But they are some uh, Gamma and some Mutant. Okay, that, that's interesting. I mean, we can have the Alpha Flight, but make sure that they have synergies or with like Hero, hero Mutant or, uh, or Villain Mutant and the Gamma characters as well. Was only in one issue. They ignored the actual actual long history 
of the actual issue. So she was only in one issue and they are making a movie about her. Yikes. I cannot imagine how, how that's not going to flop. Oh, yikes. I mean, Captain Marvel, she, Captain Marvel, she has been around for so long and people still hate Captain Marvel. Or, I mean, girl, how do you say her name? Carol Danvers, right? Carol Danvers has been around for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. And people still don't like that character. And uh, her movies were a flop. So now they think a, f a female Silver Surfer that had one issue is going to be a success. I, I just don't understand the reasoning. Like, it was like the, the, the issue, like, very sold, like, sold out. I'm not sure. From the pictures, it's like Crystal, but... She looks like Crystal, but with dark hair instead of ginger hair. Is this the character? It's a bit hard to understand. I love Captain Marvel, but Brie Larson didn't do her justice. ETC, in my opinion, video was clickbait, just rumors, not proof. Better to say nothing. But I said in the video, I said in the video, if you want to see for yourself, you can check my live stream. Like, I'm not going to post a video. Oh, look at this. Look how, how you can exploit the game and get banned. I said in the video that it was on my live stream, so... I just left it at that. And some people, they went to my live stream and they saw it, so. But yeah, what Sony is saying, it's true. Yeah, Some people have been dub double dipping, but um, if no one wants to talk about it, if no one wants to talk about it, then okay. I'm trying to bring uh, the topic to the, to the spotlight, so... So the people that didn't double dip can get a compensation. If I'm getting hate for trying to get, give people compensations, I don't understand. Because a lot of people, they already collected the milestones. You cannot even do the thing anymore. And still, I'm getting hate. It, it's just... It, it, the feedback on that video was a little bit uh, disappointing. I've, I made the video short as possible just to make sure that there is a situation. Let's talk about it because other people don't want to talk about it. But what I got, hate. Okay, so yeah, next time. Next time, double deep and, and don't talk about it. Just need Kamala Khan. Go on forever. She... <laughs> Yikes. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think Kamala Khan is going anywhere. She's going to be the the, Mar the Barbie of the MCU. Fantastic Four is supposed to be not in Rad's OG girlfriend who was Silver Surfer for a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, good luck, I guess. I don't wish them uh, anything bad, but good luck. Okay. Let's get these. I think I will have to spend like uh, $5 or $10 on this just to make sure I get all the dark promos. Idiots don't understand the risk of being banned. Haters will bark always. You did correct action. Make them fix with compensation. Yeah, I, I think that's the, the thing. Like, I asked it around to a few people. They don't want to talk about it. So I made a, a video about it without saying anything. Then I saw on Mobile Gamer's video, someone in the comments mentioned the same thing. But, but they don't want to talk about it. Like, no one wants to talk about it, and okay. Then the next time I don't say anything at all, and no one gets compensation. 
whoever double dips double dips and whoever doesn't then uh, well too bad for you people like uh, carol when uh, she was miss marvel when she became captain people hated her so i mean uh, People hated Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel because she replaced the other the other guy, right? I mean, I get it. It's part of the continuity, but it, it's like uh, it's like Captain America, right? A lot of people have been Captain America, but it seems like specifically Carol Denver, Danvers got way too much hate. Not sure why. Sasquatch works with Gamma. Yeah, yeah, like the leader, right? Sasquatch would be a hero or a villain? I said Mongolia about it. He said it's not happening. Oh, that would be lame AF. If he doesn't have the Gamma tag, that's so lame. They don't want to talk about it because their accounts might get banned. Why else would they stay silent? Because, because not everyone knows. Not everyone knows. It's like buying and selling accounts. Not many people know. So, so let's imagine. Would you, would you rather buy three hundred dollars worth? I'm glad I'm not, I'm not an envoy. If I would be an envoy, I would be probably in a lot of problems for this. But let's be honest. So people like Dorky Dad, he he bought or someone gave, gave to him an account. Other people have bought accounts and so on. Would you rather spend $350 a year to buy all these time highs to get you to level 80? Or would you rather give $300 or $350 to some guy on the Discord and get an account that is already at level 95? It doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense. So there is certain value for certain people especially the ones that are more competitive to don't talk about these topics because they are getting ahead while uh, you you are living in e ignorance and you are not taking advantage of these situations right so or maybe they have uh, some kind of uh, nda where they cannot talk about this i'm not sure we still don't know exactly why artgrave got uh, kicked out of the envoy program but for sure he did something and many people have used this exploit in the past like Artgrave himself so maybe maybe it's not a bannable offense but it is in terms of service like every video game has on the terms of service that uh, that it's not cool it's not cool and i will not say more the original Captain Marvel died in the 80s. Yeah, so that's why I don't think it makes sense that Carol Danvers getting so much hate. Unless people feel like the they didn't make justice to the character or something. In that regard, I, I would understand. But I, I preferred Carol Danvers with the with the dark suit. The dark suit with the, the yellow lightning. I prefer that one, that version of how she looks. Red one again, greater. Doc Samson. I don't know what this is. Armadillo de Jesus. Who is this? Quem é este cara? Doc Samson. So this is some Gamma character. Comes to the game, do you believe he's going to use uh, the Gamma Radiation piece? I mean, it's very likely. 
there are a few characters like uh, so Brana doesn't use the gamma radiation she hulk doesn't use the gamma radiation but uh, the other four use so it's very likely that uh, they use but maybe not maybe if he's a second hand or third hand uh, gamma character maybe not the case wow this guy looks legit here that picture looks super legit Ooh, I really like the guy. It looks like um, some uh, metal band or something. So these guys are the part of the Alpha Flight that are gamma powered. Yes. Why by an account leveling up, growing your characters are the pun? Yeah, for you, for you, not for everyone. Or Dak. Anything about the CC reward? No, we are still waiting. I want to know how Boylan got back into the Envoy program. Good question. I guess because they didn't have LGBT representation. That might be one of the reasons. Come on, man. Someone clear this. See if someone does it. We need Maestro as a mythic, mythic, uh, mythic gamma character. I'm up for that. I'm up for that. But so we got, uh, we got Mephisto. We got uh, Apocalypse, we got Scroller. No, so in the other day, right up. So we got Tormamo, we got Apocalypse, we got Scroll, we got Mephisto. The next one is going to be Professor X, so another mutant. So we could, we could get uh, Maestro after to, to replace the Scroll as the mythic bio. I like it, Samson, in my childhood. 90s Hulk TV show cartoon. Yeah, I don't remember that cartoon. I, I remember watching, but I don't remember the episode specifically. I think I need to search on, for it. Gamma Flight in Gamma. 800 pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why not? Why not? Two diamonds on Nico Minoru. Congratulations. That's a great pull. Switched bodies with Sasquatch. Okay, so it's a complicated situation. Boylan replaced Art Grave as the affirmative action replacement for Alphabet community. I mean, I, I guess that's a good, a good call, right? So not only Boylan is LGBT, but he's also a minority because he's uh, half Japanese, half white. And Art Grave is full white and he's from Germany. So, so I guess they had good reasons to replace uh, Art Grave as a affirmative uh, replacement how do i crack past uh, weaver in note 2 of uh, apocalypse unlimited you have to ability blocker with uh, with your rogue or ability blocker or stun her so after she stops working i wonder how the leader and brana would do in Dark dimension 7 lots of bills that proves and they they use different uniques uh yeah i mean so the LVP, LVP for Dark Dimension, the LVP for Dark Dimension Six used Brona with uh, with Hulk, and it was a good combo because the the Brony steals that thirty percent health. If you can keep the Brona with a character that stuns, 
it could be interesting. So for sure. So maybe like Leader, Braun, Nightcrawler, and then uh, and then like uh, needs a character that applies slow to make sure that they have enough speed. Come on, man! I want to do my water attacks, bro. You're just ruining my videos. Arsgrave is from Germany. Yeah, yeah. His family is from Germany. His family is from Germany. Then they migrated to Alaska. And then Artgrave dad deleted himself. And he moved to New York. Supposedly, subject to change. The Hulk show is on Disney Plus, really. But it does does it has the full episodes? Because the the X-Men uh, the first X-Men uh, animated series does not have all the episodes. A lot of episodes missing, actually. Pull a uh, sweet baby ink on uh, them and told them how bad they look for punishing. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Black, yeah, you can use Black Knight or Zombie Juggernaut. I actually think Zombie Juggernaut has more use in Dark Dimension than Black Knight. Black Knight is better outside of Dark Dimension, but Zombie Juggernaut specifically would be better there because he has so much drain and applies slow, attacks multiple targets all the time. So in terms of the character that helps you the most in Dark Dimension, it would be Zombie Juggernaut. But yeah, Black Knight is the... Is the Burger King of everywhere else? Yeah, yeah, but but he's cheap. He's cheap. I'm not sure how expensive Braun is, but cheap. But yeah, the biggest problem of using a team like that with Braun and so on is just making sure that you're having the speed advantage over your your opponents, your enemies. Okay, I mean, if you can, I think I. If I can't do more water attacks, I guess I'm gonna end the stream, right? Seven water attacks to go, but I can't. Better reveal praise the sunspot on his second run. I mean, if you are taking Nightcrawler and sunspot, that's a great combo. Because that means every other turn you have a, you have a stun to use. Yeah, I, like I'm not trying to stall the team. Oh, hey, finally we have some action. Oh no, <laughs> we don't there. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, if you have Sunspot, so Sunspot uses Astral Energy, and the other only character that uses Astral Energy is Apocalypse, right? So you could bring Sunspot, but you also have to bring a Nightcrawler. So you have a turn one stun, then you give him. And then you have to do the ultimate, then you do the stun again, then you can give the energy with sunspot, then you stun again, then you give energy with the ultimate, and then you stun again, and then you can do the ultimate again. Yeah, it's a very shitty Quicksilver, yeah, but they went with... Uh... It, it was a good result, like Infinity Watch here, it was a good result, but... Um... Maybe better than G. Oh yeah, Striker on Moon. Oh yeah. He might have lost because of the Striker on uh, Moon Dragon. She needs to be a healer. Like the healing she does, it's really crucial. The 28% extra healing, it's very important on, for this matchup. The Hulk has all the episodes. Only, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the Hulk. I didn't like the Iron Man TV show. The Iron Man TV show, I thought it was very weak. The Hulk uh, TV show, I liked it. Of course, neither of them were as good as the, the Spider-Man and X-Men. But uh, it was definitely more third best, I guess. Okay, guys, I apologize. I'm going to end the stream here. I'm waiting for these war attacks to happen, but uh, they are not happening. 
I was going to make a new video with what attacks, but it's taking way too long. Uh, so, yeah. Tomorrow we have a blog, maybe. I think the blog tomorrow is going to be a nothing burger. Maybe they will present something about uh, Dark Dimension 7 completion from Better Ray Bill. But shouldn't be super exciting. So I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow. So if not, we'll be back on, uh, on Saturday. And on Saturday, we should be able to set up our defenses. At least I hope so. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Good luck with uh, your Spider-Man, uh, Spider-B Parker, if you are still going to unlock him. And uh, if indeed we don't see each other tomorrow, I wish you guys a great Friday and a great weekend. Take care, guys.